First Updates Now videos are brought to you by Stryker. Discover why so many first alumni and mentors are putting Stryker first when it comes to their careers, internships, and co-ops. Visit careers.stryker.com forward slash first to learn more. Hi, I'm Yager back with First Capital RI3D, and we're here with another color sensor test. Uh, we decided we wanted to go back and check um, to see how the color sensor responded when it's looking through a piece of Lexan, as if you were looking uh, from the bottom of the of the wheel instead of just from the top. So at first, we tested this here um, normally with the backlight activated and found that there was some serious glare um, and that was affecting the readings. So when we tested it with the backlight off, which is just a little switch here on your color sensor, um, it actually got the uh, readings much better. And you can see here we're using a very scratched piece of Lexan, which is like your worst case scenario that you'd be able to find. We wanted to test it with that. What we found is without the backlight, uh, when you look over on the screen here as I'm oscillating the sensor up and down, the confidence levels are still pretty solid um, as compared to the test before. So it, it, there's not too much of a difference um, when the backlight is off. However, when the backlight's on, you can see a significant difference. If I slide the sensor over to red, as I go up and down, you can see it's kind of unsure of what it's sensing. And especially if I take the backlight and I turn the backlight on, it really has no idea what it's looking at. I'm moving it up and down right now, and it thinks it's on yellow even though it's on red. So that is that test. And Steven's going to explain to you a little bit about what that means for you guys. Yep. So my name's Steven. Uh, make sure when you guys show up to competition, you, uh, when, when you go to color calibrate, make sure before, before the competition, they'll give you a chance to go on the field with your robot and go and validate that uh, everything's functioning on your robot. And this is where you'd want to take your robot out on the field, uh, pre preferably with a smart dashboard set up, and you can actually see what each color is. Make sure when you're doing this calibration, you're doing it at where you would look at during a match. Like if, if you're used to looking at top, make sure you bring your robot out and get your height correct. Because any differences that we've seen, it, we see a lot of differences. You know, these sensors can go from one to 10 centimeters. So make sure that it, the sensor's at the correct height. Yep, and this has been uh, two members of the software team with First Capital RI3D demoing Rev's color sensor in response to the uh, wheel in the field. Thank you. Thanks for watching. If you want more fun content, be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos. You can also directly help support fun by visiting our Patreon at patreon.com forward slash first updates now or by subscribing at twitch.tv forward slash first updates now. Thanks to all of our co-executive producers on Patreon and Tier 2 Plus subscribers on Twitch keeping fun loud, live, and independent. Thanks to Rev Robotics and all of our First Capital RA3D sponsors.